Professor Merkel, today at the ESC hotline session you presented the Biomarkers in Cardiology AIDS study. Could you please give us a quick overview of the study? The Big AIDS study was the first randomized international interventional study showing that a combined testing of troponin and copeptin is eligible to uh, facilitate a fast rule out in patients um, presenting in the ED. And we looked for outcome and effectiveness, and the outcome was the same in both study arms. So both study arms had the same event rate, and it was effective as 66% of patients could be discharged directly from the ED in the process group, and only 12% in the standard group. So this process is now ready to be implemented into clinical practice. So why are these results important? These results are important because we face in, um, increasing overcrowding situations in the emergency departments and that means that overcrowding itself becomes a risk factor and now we have the possibility to discharge patients at low risk early for an outpatient workup and so we avoid in increasing, we avoid admission of patients who do not need hospital care. And would you say that the new process is really completely safe for patients and for physicians? We could show the same MACE rate in both arms, so that means that this process is not, has not no risk, but the risk is the same in the standard as in the experimental arm. And will the new biomarker improve patient flow in the emergency department? The new, the new process with a single combined testing of troponin and copeptin will definitely improve the flow in the ED because in a large group of patients with negative copeptin values we can discharge patients very early into ambulant care and therefore reduce the length of stay in the ED and therefore reduce overcrowding. And do you think that copeptin is now ready to be implemented into clinical routine? In our study we could show after a series of observational studies that in a prospective randomized interventional study, both study arms are safe in the same way and effective in the higher discharge rate using copeptin. And this means this is ready for implementation in clinical practice. And will you personally implement it in your hospital? We will implement the new process in our hospital as soon as the paper has been published. Thank you very much.